Jonas, Kasper Jensen, very nice to have you here. Uh, very interesting also to um, to have this conversation with you because um, on the Klang label, of course, we have mostly people who come from a, a direct musical background or mostly musical background, but uh, you are um, unique in that you come from a much wider artistic background. And uh, so we are having this conversation in Copenhagen, but you also have a very international trajectory. Mm -hmm. So, um, but music to you, at what moment did it become really a, a thing of importance? Um, I actually started playing the drums when I was six and uh, trained to become a musician until I was 20. Um, but I ran into two technical practices. I wanted to become a drum jazz musician and I didn't find it interesting enough uh, playing techni technical drums. So I stopped and started to do art instead and had um, 10 years where I only like played a little bit but not not intense. Um, so coming to music again is a new thing. Working with sound as a sculpture or more like as a installation tool I've done since since I started my studies maybe 13 years ago. Oh, yeah. So you were attracted to music but the technical aspect of becoming a music performer yeah. actually pulled you away from the music. Yeah. That's very interesting. I had a problem that I could only hit on the on the skin of the drums. I, I wanted to do other kind of things, but the uh, but this, the, the people I met were really technical oriented and wanted me to become this like good at playing, um, and I didn't find the right place to practice my idea of music at that time. Yeah. yeah. But then why did you go into the uh, wider concept of art? Because um, obviously there was something that still needed uh, some satisfaction you still needed to find. I think the thing that I couldn't find at the time in music, I found in art. The exact thing that I was searching for. Yeah. And when you say art, what are you referring to more specifically? Um, for me now it could be everything. At that time it was photography and painting and sculpture. Yeah. Yeah. But now it's like an open field. For me, like there's no, there's no media. It's more a way to express yourself or yeah. a way to work. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like a real Renaissance man to me. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because it's true that when we are when we're appreciating music, there are probably many other things that are also going on because it creates images. Yeah. And there is a physicality to yeah. Yeah. to music that yeah. the sound represents. Yeah. So, how do you uh, think of these things, the connections between the different art forms of different... Uh, um, yeah, that's a very difficult question. I'm, I actually often find it difficult to connect, for example, sound and image, or image and text. So, mostly I choose to work in, in sound and then only sound, or image and then only image. So, so that question is very difficult to answer. Yeah. They, they can do different things, as I see it, with different medias. Um, and I hope to integrate it later in my career, like that, that's my aim at least. Yeah. Um, but right now I would say that they can do different things. Sound can be used to, uh, to uh, awake emotions very easily. But I'm not so interested in that. For me, it's more uh, a tool to uh, describe energy or presence of, of, of uh, life, maybe, mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so it's more sound than music. I'm going more into music, but it's still more sound as a sound of, of a machine or sound of a bird or sound of yeah. yeah, I know that you have had interest in electricity and the sound of electricity, yeah. so to say it like yeah. this. And um, what is it that you find in that that um, makes it possible for you to make um, moments of music? I am reluctant to say music because of what you just mm -hmm. said, but still yeah. of. Uh, moments of sound, extended moments of sound that are five, six minutes of yeah. manifestation. So, 
how the, what is it in this uh, manifestation and say in electricity how do you find that and how do you make that into sound for instance um, a good example would be like a performance you have a performance you meet three um, musicians let's say noise musicians that want to play together um, and they turn on the computer while uh, when you turn on the computer there's uh, electricity inside the computer and you can transform that electricity into sound by uh, sending it through different kind of cables or pedals and uh, in the end uh, let it come out uh, from, a, from a speaker. So it's a, it's a system of, of sound but it's also a system of electricity that is shaped in different ways in the different stations of the, of the production. Yeah. Yeah. So this is in fact an example of how you uh, would conceive uh, a, 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 a piece of sound art, yeah, you know, like, yeah. Or like and that. music as well. I would, I would explain okay. that in the same yeah. way. So this example, then the sound source is the um, the um, inherent uh, electrical noise. Yeah, and then oh, yeah. but but it's just a very easy circuit because you have a circuit you can understand. But yeah. I see it everywhere. For me, it's the same. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, it's easy so way to control and make it simple yeah. to play with your computer. But do you have a preference for noise art? Um, or is it just this example that... It's just an example. That I, don't, I don't consider my, my work as noise. And to me, noise is just a way, like it's just a genre. Yeah. There could be many different things. It's just easy to, to understand from noise because noise is such an electronic and uh, electric uh, yeah. Yeah, expression. Yeah. Yeah. So you've been quite a lot around in the world. You've been living in many places yeah. in Europe. Um, so tell us a little bit about how this uh, need to move around came about. You were looking for something specific that you couldn't find here in Denmark? Or? I think it began with me being restless and wanting to see something different. Uh, but it, then I, I started out moving to Berlin to live. And I wanted to live there. Like that was my that was in my twenties, beginning of the twenties. But then I started going to art academies. And that that was the starting point for me to start to move around because I was interested in different schools. Yeah. And that changed over time where I wanted to, yeah. to go to school. So what were some of your interests that made you move around? Uh, the schools like at first I went to Bergen to study oh. photography. And I found out that I was not too interested in only photography, the same music, probably the same as music. So I, I was accepted at Stadelschule, where I had most of my study in Frankfurt, um, in a class where I could do everything. It was an interdisciplinary study, mm. so I, I was not limited. Um, yeah. And then after that, I just forget, forgot to, get, to go home, kind of, and went to other different places. And now you're back in Denmark? Yeah. Since three months. Yeah. I'm in Copenhagen. Yeah. yeah. So you're very Danish, but uh, Danish is actually the least of what you are, if you think of your last five, ten years. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you.